Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Vlastimil Hort and Paul Keres. This game was played in Robenhausen in 1961. And let's go straight to the position of our interest. This is the position. Black to move. Black win is under attack. It looks like that white will win the pawn on c4. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? I will show you a move which Paul Keres considered and rejected. Queen to d2 and then after bishop to e1 the best move is queen to d4 check. After bishop to f2 the best move is queen to d2 and the position would repeat. The game would end in a draw. Back to our game. What else can black do? If queen goes to d3 then the queen takes on c4 and white is better. Maybe then queen to a2. Is that a good move? Then again, queen takes on c4. And white is better. Back to our game again. What is the solution? There is no solution then. Or maybe there is. After doing some deep, deep thinking, Paul Keres played this amazing move. Are you ready to see the move? Queen takes rook. Check. Amazing, isn't it? Rook takes queen. B2 attacking the rook. Rook to B1. C3. Queen to E2. White has a queen for the rook. And white is much better materially. But the two pass pawns are a real headache for player with the white pieces. The game continued. Rook takes on A4 d7, intending queen to e8 check. Black to move. What would you do about queen to e8 check? In this position, Keres considered two moves. Rook to g8 and h6. He played h6. Queen to e8 check. King to h7. White to move. Hort was choosing between queen takes rook and pawn to d8 queen winning the rook on a4. He played pawn to d8 queen. Let's take it back. If queen takes on b8, then c2. And after queen takes on b2, bishop takes on b2, rook to f1, rook to a8, bishop to b6, Rook to a1, pawn to d8, queen, rook takes rook check, king takes rook, pawn to c1, queen, king to e2. The white king is exposed, and black has a better chance in this endgame. Back to our game. So we have pawn to d8, queen, discovered attack on the rook on a4. Rook takes queen. What else? Keres considered c2. That was tempting. Perhaps he didn't like this continuation. Queen to g8 check, king to g6, queen from g to e8 check. And if the king goes to g5, the king is not safe, so the king would have to go to h7 and the game would end in a draw. Back to our game. So we have rook takes on d8. Queen takes on a4. Rook to d2. White to move. Player with the white pieces was thinking hard and was struggling to find a good move. In frustration he played. Rook takes on b2. Let's take it back. The other way to go was queen to b5. And then one line goes like this. c2. Queen to f1. Rook to d5, h3, rook to a5, rook takes on b2, bishop takes on b2, bishop to e3, rook to a1, queen takes rook, bishop takes rook, bishop to c1, king to g6, king to f1, king to h5, g3, bishop to e5, king to g2. Black is better. But to win, it would take many moves back to our game. So in this position we have rook takes on b2. 
c takes on b2, queen to b3, rook to d8, queen to c2, rook to b8, let's take it back, if g6 then bishop to e3, and white is fighting back. So in this position we have rook to b8, intending pawn to b1 queen, queen to b1. Well, let's take it back. White could have taken on f5 with check, but then g6. And if queen goes to d7, then bishop to g7, black wins. How about in this position, queen to b1? Is that good? Then rook to a8, and black wins. Back to our game. So we have queen to b1, and we know that queens are notoriously poor blockaders. The game continued. g6, g4, rook to a8, king to g2, rook to a1, queen to c2, pawn to b1 queen, queen to c7 check, bishop to g7, bishop to d4, threatening checkmate, queen to f1 check, king to g3, f4 check, king takes on f4, black played the move and white resigned and the move is queen to c1 check, forcing white to trade queens. Vlastimil Hort resigned in view of this continuation. Queen takes queen, rook takes queen, and after something like bishop to e3, g5 check, king to e4, rook to h1, winning the pawn on h2. What an amazing battle. And let's go back to our training position. This is the position. Can you win? with black pieces from this position. Please click on the link below the video and test your endgame skills against the Terminator. Good luck! And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.